Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Video True and welcome back to Stellaris Apocalypse, where, well, let's just focus on the big stuff first. Uh, the Space Mongols have woken up. Now, you might look around the galaxy and think, like, you're down in this part of the world, probably the guys called the Tebazoid Ravagers are the big threat. No, they're nothing. They're really not to be worried about. The big threat is the tiny, cute pink blob called the Slepinors. Those guys are gonna be trouble. So basically, you can't really deal with them diplomatically. You can either just kind of, you know, shut them off or discuss surrender. Now, surrender basically means agreeing to become a satrapy of theirs. So they get 10% of your energy income, they get 20% of your mineral income, and you lose 30% of your naval capacity, which is kind of, actually, technically, it's not really transferred to them. It's just kind of, you get a reduction. And they, meanwhile, are assumed to just get stronger, build more ships, etc. Because some people will surrender to them, and some people will stand and fight, and those people might well be crushed. Because while we can't actually see what's going on inside these territories right now, um, yeah, spoiler warning, they've actually got some quite big fleets. Bigger than anyone around them, most definitely. Now, the Tebezoid Ravagers are right next door. Those guys are unlikely to surrender because they're militarist and xenophobe. However, because of all the wars they've been fighting, their fleet power is currently a bit on the low side, so they need to build up fast, to be honest, because, uh, yeah... Right now, unfortunately, the Slurpinor are going to be coming for them momentarily. Or, they might go north. Now, these guys are actually technically part of... Yeah, they're part of a federation. Now, I'm not sure how, like, diplomatic relations between a federation and an actual Khan goes. Because I don't know whether you're able to either surrender on behalf of your federation, or if you surrender, you actually get pulled out of the federation and become a satrapy. Or possibly, like, federations just don't really get to communicate with them at all. By the way, I'm making so much food profit right now. I should really change my food stockpiling over to large. It'll cost me a little bit of growth in the short term. It'll be nice to have some extra food stored up. So we're going to need to keep a very close eye on those guys. But for the time being, we've actually got a war we need to wrap up first. And something I didn't realise. In Stellaris 2.0 and 2.0.1... If you did an offensive war, you were not allowed to lay claims during the war. That has apparently changed, and I don't remember seeing that in the patch notes. Now you can, it just costs 100% more than it would do otherwise, because you're in an offensive war. Now that works for me, because that means I can potentially actually get a little bit of territory off the bastard Athari. Just, you know, a little bit. Just start knocking them down slightly, slowly, bit by bit. So in particular, let's actually have... Hang on, this world is... Okay, you know what? Let's just do that. That's fine. I've got plenty of influence right now. Uh, so this world, can I even see what's on it? No, I can't because it's in a nebula. So I can't see what's going on. But I am asking my entire fleet to converge with the exception of this small force that's just going to stay up here and help out with these guys. But quite frankly, you're not going to get past this. I should probably, just in case actually, I might just throw down one additional, kind of a trading hub there. Yeah, have yourself one gun battery and one extra defense platform just for safety. Just in case they throw literally everything they've got at the whole fax defense outpost. But honestly, they've not got much left. That's just 200. That's 265. Oh, yeah. They're just being completely overrun at this point. And I assume the Fafossans are in the process of actually claiming your worlds? Not quite yet. They're bombarding them. It's going to take them a while to do that. Oh, actually, they are literally in the middle of an invasion. Right now. So, presumably that world is literally about to fall to you. Yes, indeed. World's starting to fall to the Fafossans. So, the Fafossans are actually going to be taking planets off these guys. In all fairness, the polity of Holfax, they're as good as done. They're not going to be contributing much more to the galaxy. And, hello, you guys are. We've suddenly reached something of a creative roadblock. Enclave is in disarray. We have nothing to offer at this time. Thank you for your patronage. We hope the situation improves. <laughs> Or we could demand a flipping refund. Uh, no. I hope the situation improves, and that just gets their opinion up, which is good. In fact, actually, it was, no, it was 3,000, um, energy that I needed to give them for the Ministry of Culture, which I will totally be buying off you at some point, just not quite at this moment. Ah, there's that battleship I was hoping for. Lovely, about time. Any chance? No. Unluckily for us, we did not actually get ourselves the uh, the next stage of the actual star-based technology this time. Didn't actually get redrawn. Purple. Defense platform hold points plus 500. 
That's kind of nice. But it's got to be impulse thrusters. Basically, anything that boosts the speed of your ships. Go for that. That's the priority right there. Now, I've just done a deal with the, what are you called? The Avbian Triad down here. Basically, to swap sensor range for sensor range. Just because that's going to give us an idea what's going on in this part of the world. Except, ah, unluckily, these guys have actually spawned inside a nebula. So we can't actually see what's going on inside their territory, unluckily. What we can see, however, is they've already decided to invade north. So the strength they've decided to deploy over in this direction right now is 24,000. Oh, marvellous. Right, well, let's see what we can figure out about that fleet. Ah, right now it's technically a battle. Is the battle actually done yet? Or, yeah, you're just moving straight on to blowing stuff up. Now, you may notice that what these guys have done is they haven't knocked out the star base and then decided to follow that up by, like, making it theirs. Instead, they just are going around and trashing the place. So, uh, in a moment, basically, that's just going to drop out of their space. Like, this system, I'm pretty sure, used to belong to someone. They've just come in, they appear to have smashed the star base, and literally they've pushed those guys out of that space, presumably so they can take it for themselves. So, the Khans are showing up, yeah, 24,000 fleets. Not great, but we might be able to handle it if we join up with someone. Now, time for the big deal. Speaking of nebulas, we do not know what's going on over here in the territory of Medak and its planet of Mosslands. We haven't seen what's going on down there for ages. But, with every single one of my fleets ready to go, I think we should be able to hopefully just push in to this territory. I've got a claim down on it, so let's start helping ourselves to some parts of the Athari Empire. Now, while we're moving over... Yeah, no sign of movement from any of these guys. I could try and take this system too, but honestly, this planet is kind of... Bad. Actually, there's two planets here, but they're both kind of bad, and I'm not sure I can be bothered with either of them, but you know what? No, I'm just going to leave that to the Fafossans. They can have all of this. I, I don't care for it. It's not a particularly good planet. I can, like, you know, if I need better planets, I can just, like, you know, found any of these really good planets that now exist inside my borders. Right, and, oh, hello, that's, no, that's, that's not even remotely where you're supposed to be looking. Are we ready to go yet? The fleets are moving into position. Oh, yeah. This here is a good-sized fleet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Everyone prepares to move in. Warps out. And what have we got? What do we have here? So, you guys... No, 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 no. Okay, we're straight into a battle. No matter. I think we should be able to handle this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think we're going to be able to have this. Those guys have started warping out immediately. Overwhelming firepower comes in here. They are just basically collapsing. We're destroying some of them. They're warping out as fast as they can. The station here is only worth about 1,000 strength. We might have taken a very, very tiny knock, but to be honest, yeah, there we go. The entire fleet's gone, and we've also managed to get, oh dear, arrested development. That's very annoying, but no matter. Okay, so that system's gone down pretty much immediately. You guys, oh, the Ganvius Empire, okay, they are now more spiritualist. Well, that works for me. Uh, where are the other guys, by the way? They're just, oh, literally kind of hiding inside the sun. Uh, begin the bombardment of Mosslands. Let's have a little Luxy here. These guys, not desperately thrilled. Atmospheric hallucinogen. This world looks all right, not spectacular. Decent number of armies here, but with this many fleets, we should be able to bombard this world down pretty quickly. And looks like it's actually time for an election. Uh, who is actually going to be the new person? We've got ourselves champion of the... No, not that person. That person's cocking busy on Gargantua. All right, do not flipping dare have that person do that. Don't you dare. Okay, seriously, 30 days left. I'm going to put some support behind this person just to try and make sure they cocking win. So this person, because like we've actually lost someone who was about to finish the Gargantua chain once before to death. I'm not having this person being pulled off to flipping. Ooh, we've got refugees and they're on Hawking too. Right, so uh, they are Thek Clark refugees from, oh, it's the Slurpenor Horde. Right. You see, the problem is, huge parts of the galaxy are slaving dicks. So, there's not that many Xenophiles coming up. So, when refugees do get created, 
we do tend to end up accepting them. But to be honest, like, there's no real downside to them. Uh, right, so they're over on Hawking. They are welcome here because they can't not be because we're xenophile. Let's see who they are exactly. Are you those guys? Yep, the Thekwalak. So what are you guys exactly? You are sedentary, deviants, going towards xenophile, natural engineers. That is the first time we've had natural engineers going on inside the territory. That's absolutely fine. And very strong as well. Good. You guys, together with the... The Jars... Jarsajan? Yeah, the Jarsajan and the Thek clan. Sorry, Thek Clack. Uh, that's really hard to say. You guys could very, very much be worth... Mm, yeah, it's very worthwhile, in fact. This is fascinating. Also, I really need to fob off white heat of technology into a sector at some point. It's, you know, fully grown and really not going to be contributing anything particularly interesting at this point. Oh, research is indeed complete. Shield capacitor. There's a good one. Oh, advanced shields too. That's nice. And x-ray lasers and... Uh-oh. Mandate unfulfilled. That means someone knew one, which isn't what I want particularly. Uh, go for advanced shields and... Yeah, I have a feeling this. Oh no, that's not from the flipping Slurpinor. That's from the bloody dwarves, isn't it? Right. So now Arassians have just showed up on Hawking as well. Right, well, more the flipping merrier. This is just populations inside my empire. Right, so what's one of you? It's... Ah, it's the dicks. That's what the dicks were actually called. Fine, they were Arassians. I've spoken to the monkey people in the past. I can't imagine they're thrilled to be here, to be honest. Like... They are actually like, you know, arctic preference people. More natural engineers, nomadic, enduring, militarist, repugnant. Okay, well, apparently their happiness is flipping 90% despite, yeah. Habitability is not as serious as it used to be. Like, this is an arctic preference person on a desert world, and it's only minus 17%. Like, yeah, habitability is really not a huge deal anymore. But the refugee situation is getting worse and- oh yeah. Yeah, 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 I think we can start seeing what's going on here, though sadly that's still a nebula, so I can't actually see what's going on here. Yeah, those guys have started invading. These guys refused to surrender, and as a result, they are now being torn apart, and now they are starting to expand. Fast. And I would guess that Okrom is the first of the world that they've just taken off the Tebezoid Ravagers. My concern is, by the time they get to us, they might be too strong to stop. That could be a real problem. Oh no, thank goodness we have indeed re-elected our current ruler. Marvellous. That means we might actually be able to finish Gargantua for bloody want. Uh, so you guys have declared the... Sorry, that's the bird people, isn't it? Isn't, isn't that the... Okay, seriously, guys. You have bigger problems to worry about than some birds on the far side of the cocking empire. How's this war technically going, by the way? We are winning by a long way, but I suspect the Fafossans pretty much want to wrap this up in its entirety. I imagine these guys are going to be squeezed down to almost nothing. Which is fine, I don't really have a problem with that. But I'm just pretty much waiting for that war to end. But I may as well take the opportunity to, yeah, seize at least a little bit of territory of these bastards too. Now, nipping over to the Khans again, just for a second. So yeah, with their lovely massive ship here and 24,000 strength, they're presumably going to bombard this world into the ground. Tragically, it's going to take them a little bit of time to do. Not that long. They've got a lot of firepower here. And I imagine they're in quite an aggressive raiding stance. They might also be abducting someone, potentially. That is... Uh, no, that pop is still growing. That pop is... Uh, well, they claim they belong to these guys. Either these guys were already enslaved, or that symbol means they are currently being taken and migrated to a different world. Not sure. But I imagine once this world actually falls, and I don't actually see a, a transport fleet. There's another 12,000. You see, ooh, blimey. That there is, is just one massive fleet. One flipping massive fleet just knackering these outposts. <laughs> that is not fun. Right, can we actually see what this ship's got on it, by the way? Uh, can we see that? Actually, tier 3 stuff. So they've just basically destroyed that territory, and presumably now they'll head out and expand to it. Ah! There we go, right. So they do actually have armies. They don't just need to destroy everything on the planet. Yep, yeah, so... The naming protocol hasn't quite worked, but no matter. 
Uh, yeah, it's tier 3 and tier 2 stuff. These guys are big, but technologically they're behind. If we just keep teching up... Oh! Speaking of the old Infinity Machine... Hello! We've managed to actually help you out. So, we cannot bear to see you spend any more of your limited time helping us. You have done your part. You are very helpful. Maybe the heat death of the universe won't happen before we finish now. The task remains and we shall finish it. Now your reward. Do you wish to learn one of our secrets? Or do you wish to solve your own problems? Okay, so... We wish to know one of your secrets. Positronic AI, which is dangerous, 150 influence. Or, we wish to master the unknown ourselves. Oh. Singularity processor. Flipping 5% research speed every flipping time. Yeah. You know what? I think we will. In that case, we bestow upon you the original, the first of our processors. It will aid you in solving the riddles. Maybe you will find the answer before us. Unlikely. Maybe you already did. Anyway, farewell. So... Those guys are going to be taken over. We've had a nice chat with the Infinity Machine there, and I assume that is just, uh, yep. That is just an empire-wide modifier. Research speed plus 5% under all circumstances. Love it. Absolutely flippin' love it. Uh, so, let's actually say hello to this thing, I assume. Is it, is it naffing off into the black hole? Is it? Doesn't seem to be. Sometimes when you solve its problem, it naffs off actually into the black hole and just disappears. But on this occasion, it's decided it doesn't want to. Well, that's just lovely too. Oh, hello. I'm glad I just saw that. The Athari are on the move. And it looks like they're heading north towards Shuken. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Where are my transport fleets at this point? Also, how far away am I from Shuken? I'm three jumps out from Shuken. And I'm also three jumps to Freedom. So if they're trying to make it to Freedom Station, because that's the only way into the Empire, unless, of course, they go into the Athari Defense Outpost. Except, no, they can't be, because they're traveling to Shuken. From Shuken, the only thing in our Empire is Freedom. Okay. What state is this planet in right now? The armies are... Yeah, 278. That's fine. Uh, bring in the combined transport fleets. So, uh, yeah. Commensify the landing there. And my actual main two forces... Actually, I don't need both of you. I really don't. Just send the general security fleet to Freedom Station. That will be absolutely fine. So you head over there. Take care of that. We've taken a few light knocks for the most part. I think we should be fine. Reinforcement would only cost 160. Go on then. Reinforce whatever was lost. Just replace that. Ooh, 150 of them are heading to the Athari Defense Outpost. Right. So, for once, they are actually going on the flipping offensive. The Athari defense outpost will unquestionably fall. Uh, it can't stand up to 1,500 by itself. Yeah, I wasn't expecting them to leap into action. Luckily, yeah, those guys are heading north. Fine, it is time to deploy the second fleet then. Cabbage Liberators, head directly to... That cannot be the most efficient route for you to go. Like to go, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six versus one, two, three, four. Yeah, just go to Shuckin. Just go to flipping Shuckin, all right? It's fine. Uh, right, and where are the armies? Armies ready to land here. Let's just check the invasion goes all right. Should be absolutely fine. In fact, this is the first time we've actually deployed, I believe, uh, the Titanic Beast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Titanic Beast. Absolutely flippin' lovely. Is the Titanic Beast actually getting involved right now? Uh, no, I think the Titanic Beast has decided not to get involved at this point. So, ooh. Okay. One of you... Yeah, the human army's taking a bit of a knock. But, fortunately, I think defensively, this isn't going that well. If you guys would like to, like, back off and retreat, that'd be absolutely fine. Because... Is that what you're actually doing? Do you actually get to... Retreat, and are you retreating? Yeah, that guy's managed to successfully fall back and someone else has taken his place. This is how it works now. It still needs a bit of work. Like, in all fairness, ground combat's a little bit boring in this game, but it's certainly better than it was. So, that guy has now fallen back, so he's not fighting anymore. This person is taking damage and might about to be... Yeah, that person, I think, has been destroyed, but that's fine. I need to get my fleets moving. And apparently, we've got a fight going on here. And that is, yeah, that is, ooh. Freedom Station versus 1,900 strength. Okay, and in addition, you should be ready to actually move in momentarily. Yes, indeed you are. So, the actual main fleet is jumping in one day. Oh, you're in for a nasty surprise, mate. You're in for a really nasty surprise. 
because you just arrived and now I'm back in home territory. I think you'll find I think my fire rate's a bit faster because of some form of tradition or something. So now these guys are, yeah, understandably deciding they don't want to be here anymore. So we've definitely managed to destroy a few of them. I can see a couple of smoldering corpses, which is always flipping welcome. But for the most part, oh, and that's a transport fleet that's been completely destroyed as well. That is a shame. Now, the Athari defense outpost has been taken. What are you guys doing? They're pulling back at this point. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, you guys, yeah. Just head over to... Why can you not go there? Wait, what? Why can you not... It's not marked as can't go there. Why are you not allowed to go? Is it because we haven't cut through this thing yet? Do we need to... Probably we need to destroy this thing yet because of the FTL inhibitor. If I had to guess, I'd say that's probably what's going on there. So you are right now healing up. So don't bother doing that. Instead, come and join your friend. 6,000 here. Battle Take out... Yeah, station. there we are. These 6,000 should be absolutely fine. In fact, this 6,000, I believe we've got some... Do we have some actual point defense here? I think we've got some point defense here, so we should be absolutely fine. So some of my forces have started warping out. They seem to be doing a competent tough job. Fine. So this force has also fallen back here. They're up to 84% war exhaustion. That force was taken. What did we lose? Yeah, we lost three of our actual armies there. That's fine. I've got reinforcements piling in. Uh, okay. I could try and take Shuken and Eber, Mascus, whatever. Actually, you know, I'm going to take... Bare minimum, I will take Shuken. Uh, that would be worth doing. Yeah, that's not our piece. That's someone else's piece. Uh, claims. Claim this for... What is that? 128? Yeah, get that done. Fine. So we'll have Shuken. Thank you. Lovely. And then here we've now got, yeah, there's 2,000 odd strength here. That's not a problem at all. I may as well just get the Cabbage Liberation Force to continue moving south immediately down over here. Actually, one thing I absolutely need to do is the actual war score is getting a bit high. I need to make sure we take back the Athari Defense Outpost before the war ends. Otherwise, they're going to get it, which would be kind of irritating. Uh, so General Security Force... Can you head to... Not that way. Just go straight through this. Blow it up if you have to. It's fine. Uh, they're heading back to the Athari Defense Outpost. Possibly to continue doing more damage. Because that's actually an invasion force. Not a good one. Strength 80 is terrible. But we'll see. Hello. What's all this? You inviting me to a thing again? No. The Kalakturans have joined the alliance there. So these guys have now signed up with these guys. That's, well, understandable. And do we actually have visibility... Of this yet. Yeah, here we go. Now, what happens to... Wait, why do I not have visibility of that? I literally traded visibility with you. Hang on. Oh, you are flipping tier one radar sensors. Wow, you are technologically miles behind. Oh, and the octopus people have also jumped straight in. So, yeah, a defensive alliance is starting to spring up here. These guys, these guys, these guys, and these guys are now all trying to work together and coordinate to try and stop the expansion of the Slurpanor. Unfortunately, without the help of the Tebezoids, I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much. And I don't think the Tebezoids are going to want to help out. Though then again, there has just been peace between those guys and those guys. So maybe that's the first step to bring them on board. Maybe they're willing to acknowledge a greater threat has just showed up. Now, over to the Athari defense, lads. What are you guys doing? You're heading north. Heading towards Krantz. I see. Well, that one's going to be a bit more difficult for you to take. Uh, that's just a secondary fleet. Both my fleets are now located here. Murder that down. Okay. You guys, get after them. Seriously, get after them as soon as you can, please. I want these guys destroyed. Get over here. Chase them. Wait, what? No! No, no, no. Why would you go that way? Just... Wait, what? I understand they fully occupy that system, but we've... We've already... No, 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 that's not how FGL inhibitors work. It's not like you can't. Oh, is it because they own? Oh, cock, clever bastards. Okay, so they have an FTL inhibitor on this world because they've installed an FTL inhibitor on this world. Hang on, is it one of the buildings? I don't know exactly how like it gets installed on a world, but. Because they've got an FT inhibitor installed on this world, possibly attached to the star base, I have genuinely no clue. However it is they've done it, I can't leave this system through any way other than the way I came in. 
Meaning I have literally no way to get to the Athari defense outpost other than looping around the stupid way. Marvelous. Well, in that case, deploy the general security fleet. Uh, their admiral is a trickster. It's faster. Get them over there. Try and guard this system if you can. Uh, this system has 655 power. It's not great, but it's going to have to do. At this point, I'm just racing to try and do this before the cocking war ends. And the problem is, both of these worlds are... No, not that one. This one. That world, at least, is a little bit more manageable. Okay, the best I might be able to do is, yeah, if I were to bombard both of these worlds right now, then if I took both of the worlds and I laid a claim to this system, that might be useful. Also, I should really be working on the debris. There's a load of debris and probably some of it's quite useful. Yeah, you over there. You're actually quite bloody close by to this. Get over here, do all this research, and watch that war score like crazy. 86% in our favour right now. That's a concern. So in comes their fleet against Krant at this point. We should be able to do some damage to them, but they will win easily. It's just a case of how long can I hold them off? Long enough to get my troops around? Hopefully so. My troops are good quality troops, aren't they? Right. Also, I don't think I ever actually built a battleship, did I? No, I did not. And is that not a tragedy? Well, that'll certainly do as a starting point. Lovely. I do actually like fitting those things out as big carriers, by the way, but I haven't actually researched any of the good bomber wings yet, so uh, probably not worth... Ooh. Okay. Interesting. The Athari have dropped out of... In fact, loads of them have dropped out of that. Possibly because they understand the League is completely falling apart and will be dead soon. Yes, that's possible. Oh, there we go. Empire leader capacity up by two. Bloody finally. That took ages. Uh, habitability modification. Okay, allows us to change... Ah! Okay, yeah, using modification, which I haven't got round to yet. That's, yeah, that's food output. Leader lifespan plus 10 is nice. Yeah, you know what? That's fast. Get that done in under two years. That's okay. So, we're just sort of bombarding this place. This place is... Why am I even bothering to bombard this place? Like, there's three armies here, and they're not even that good. So, Krant has technically fallen, and I think they've, yeah, they've immediately fled back. That's fine. They don't get this place because they haven't actually managed to take either of the worlds. So we can just head over there, knock that outpost out. We are doing that right... No, this way, please. Whatever the hell you were just planning to do, don't do that. Now, where are you going? Are you heading down south by any chance? No, you're heading back up north, back towards Krant. Well, that works for me. Happy to intercept you there. Now, we've apparently got a fight on our hands here. There's... Sorry... Who are you? And where did you just get... Right, okay. So that there is a small reinforcing army that decided it wanted to walk straight through Krant. So that's just great right there. Luckily, cavalry just arrived at the same flipping time. We can take that out. That's not a problem. Okay, so we've taken out that system immediately. This fleet, head down... Oh, hang on. This fleet, head in this direction. Because conveniently, these bastards have just decided to show up right now. By the way, you should get out of there. It looks like we're already... Oh, yeah, we're already firing on them. There we go. They're not going to enjoy this one little bit. Their shields and armor are already down, so we're going to be able to destroy a few of them too fast for them to actually warp out. Yeah, there's quite a few dead ships there. Love it. Right, well, that should pretty much open the path for us to head down here. Reclaim the authority. That's 95%. We need to get this done sooner rather than later. There's... How much is there there? This is... Are you actually going to try and give it a go? <laughs> Due credit to you. Fair enough. That's ballsy. Uh, let's try and land the armies here. Occupy this. Hang on. Don't occupy the world until we've cleared out the Athari defense outpost. We need to claim that first. Uh, which is fine. That should only take a matter of seconds. So, yeah. Just go here. Claim that. Uh, recy the recycling campaign's ended. Oh, no! And just, just all of this, and all of a sudden, all the notifications have happened at once. The figure... Wait, what? You... What? Sir? But you're... And he's... I... What? He's... Why would you start that war? I mean, I know you're allowed to contain anyone anywhere, but why? Why would you do that? That's just... Okay, fine, whatever. I mean, I mean, I know he's a dick. Actually, he's... He's not even a fanatical purifier. Wait, how did you do that? He's not a fanatical purifier anymore. What the... What? 
I have no idea how any of that happened, but it's time for- Oh! It's time for a perk. Right, so... Unity up by 10% per neighbouring rival. Oh, that's going to be a big increase. So right now it's at 405. Goes up to 450. Nice, that was a big jump. And Ascension perk. Right. What do we have here? Because I think 2.0.2 brought some new stuff in too. Now, Engineered Evolution. So, yeah, here we go. So, Gene Seed Purification, which is nice. Modify Species Special Project Cost uh, down 25%. Gene modification points plus three. So basically I can genetically engineer my forces to be a lot better. So, naval capacity up by 80, fleet commander up by 20. Pretty good. Defender of the galaxy. Damage to endgame crisis factions, don't you worry about that yet. I still haven't taken interstellar dominion, which I probably should do. Grasp the void, starbase capacity up by five. Galactic contender, fallen awakened. Tenor ascendancy, never bad. Consecrated, then imperial prerogative. Here we are, Transcendent Learning. Haven't seen this one before. So our society must change its approach towards learning. Empire Leader Capacity plus 2, Leader Level Cap plus 2. Yes, you can get leaders up to level 7. Interesting. Maybe not quite urgent. And Voidborn becomes available. Very, very nice indeed. So, Permanent Habitation in the Depths of Space. Unlocking the Habitat Station could be very, very useful indeed. Yeah, and Executive Vigor, which I was saying in the previous part was so ludicrously powerful, I think uh, Paradox agree, because they've just slightly tweaked it down to plus 50% rather than I think it used to be plus 100. Okay, what's the right thing to do at this point? Because Interstellar Dominion is certainly tempting for Starbase influence cost and claim influence cost. Hmm, or Galactic Force Projection just for a big increase in fleet capacity. You know what, that's probably not a bad idea, just because the Khan is going to be coming this way sooner or later. But then Engineered Evolution does seem kind of fun. Uh, uh... No, I'm just going to take the big increase in fleet power. Okay, so my fleet is absolutely tearing apart that platform. Just take it out, take it out, take it out, and job done. Okay, so that means this fleet can now head over here. This force, meanwhile, is... You're just... Okay, there's just a Raxar science vessel here. My forces, I believe, are invading and have successfully invaded pretty quickly. There are... Aha! There's the enemy. Oh, no. No, you don't. No, you flipping don't. So, head over here. But actually, I think we've got more reinforcements heading in too, so you are going to regret this. Right, so let's just quickly get rid of these guys as quick as we flipping can. They're already starting to warp out. They're taking bad damage. It's going to be a while before they are actually able to achieve much, to be honest. Where are my forces? You, I want you guys to head... Uh, they're just doing some spinning. Right, you guys, get up here. Everyone get up here. All right, actually, no, you two. No, just the... Just the fleet, the... the no! No, no, just... Start actually just bombarding... Oh, they're at 100%. They're ready to give up. They're ready to actually give up at this point, which isn't really what I want. I'd like to... The, you also get over to... Get over to here... Bombard this world, all right? What's the combined strength? Actually, the combined strength is only 410. I might be able to get both of these worlds right now because this is a good force, especially I've now got the capacity to actually give it a flipping leader. So army morale, army damage up by five. Um, Or restrained army disengagement chance. Now that's actually not so bad. Army disengagement chance plus... I like the fact that you're a cactus. Like, that strikes me as a good guy to lead from the front, a cactus. So, that's going to make that a lot stronger, presumably. And yeah, because we outnumber them, and the combat width is seven... Yeah, the disengagement chance is positive. So, uh, is this a sensible idea? Screw it, go for it. Just get in there. Get in there, I need this to happen before anything else happens, and get the claim, do not forget to get the claim down, otherwise we don't get the system regardless, so, claim goes down there, we've already got Shuckin in this world, oh, I'm gonna be massively over flipping capacity when this is all said and done, aren't oh, wait, did I just, did I just not claim that, hang on, yeah, make the claim, don't forget to actually make the cocking claim, uh, right, okay, because if we can just actually claim this system, then we could also... Oh, I'm not going to have the influence. It's a shame I can't get these. But these don't really matter. They're not important. We'll get them later. Uh, that's a transport fleet. 
Continue bombarding the world while you guys get in there. Yeah, just, just land. Just flipping land. I know we're actually bombarding it at the same time. Nobody surrender. Seriously, do not. They're probably planning to surrender. Right, okay. Armies. And yeah, these forces are not so good. And thanks to this general, there's a higher than average disengagement. Oh, bloody hell, we're taking bad damage here. I'm going to lose some men. Hopefully... These guys are going to successfully be able to retreat, however. Some of them are already suffering morale penalties. I haven't actually brought the Titanic Beasts in yet. You'd think you'd want to start with them. Yeah, here we go. More people getting involved. Their armies are starting to fall apart. It is more tactical and more interesting than it used to be. I will give it that. And they're falling apart. Morale's collapsing. The Titanic Beasts are, yep, actually still not getting involved. Or possibly they did get involved. It's just they're so strong I didn't even notice. So... You guys are now starting to collapse. And I think we've managed to get ourselves this system too. Marvellous. Well done. Salvage preserved. And salvage has been preserved across the board as well. We've got our science vessels in there. Mopping up all of the lovely stuff here. Down to three. Down to two. I think a scientist who was doing scientific research has just passed away. And now this one guy is taking on this guy over here. That's actually an experienced human army. Job done. That means we now get this system as well. Uh, we're never going to have the actual influence to take these two systems, but that means we can actually uh, decommission the Athari Defense Outpost, which is good, because we're not going to need it anymore. And then, in theory, yeah, all of these worlds could actually sit inside Liberation. That'd be fine. So, we have dealt these guys a bit of a stinging blow, I'd say. They are badly damaged at this point. Now... Who died? It was indeed a scientist. How sad. Uh, so we're going to need a new one of them. Luckily, for once, we do actually have some actual scientists who are good at physics. That's chilling out. But that there is Spark of Genius. So I will most definitely be having that instead. Because, yeah, 15% on one particular type of physics versus 10% research speed literally everywhere. Yeah, let's just have... Wait, have we got Queptilians in every single... Wow, we do. It's nothing but flipping Queptiliums right now. Yeah, it's probably time we decommissioned a few stations and started having to think about what else we want. So, we can actually downgrade this starport back to an outpost. We don't need that to be anything more than an outpost. That doesn't need to be a proper station in the slightest. Authority defense outpost can also be decommissioned. That's not going to be required anymore. So, we may as well just kind of decommission that. Now, actually, I've got the spare capacity... I could just instead just basically take it off being a starport. It can't be a trading hub, however, which is a shame. Yeah, I'll just make it into an anchorage instead. Just basically get rid of the shipyard and just make it an anchorage center. One thing I should do, however, is... I have inside my empire, rather conveniently, curator order. Right flipping there. In fact, actually, do I have... Yeah, I've got two. And there's a special building you can have with those guys. So I may as flipping well. Let's just actually upgrade this... And also upgrade this. If I've got these guys actually inside my empire, I may as well actually have some advantage from it. Because, yeah, there's a really nice building that you can actually have if you share a system with a curator. Now, what's actually going on up north here? So, the Fafossans have... Yeah, not actually managed to quite pin down all of the polity of Hullfax fleets just yet. Some of them are still doing some damage, just a little bit. However, they have managed to lock down what appears to be, yeah, a couple of planets. Whatever's left of the policy of Hullfax, it's not going to be much when all of this is done. As for the Khans, meanwhile, yeah, they are spreading. Spreading a little bit on the aggressive side, actually. And not all of these are... Pl I mean, they can't all be planets, right? I mean, maybe they are. Are they just, like, settling... Okay, no, this is being marked as theirs, even though there's no planet there, so... For some reason, they play by different rules. Because normally when there's no planet, it doesn't have that symbol on it. But, oh, hello. What's the... Wait, what? Oh! It's the wormhole! That's why you declared war on those guys. It's because you have a matching pair of bloody wormholes in your empire. Well, that makes a lot more sense. Yes! And we have also got ourselves the National Prosperity Council just actually starting to exist. Probably... Very unhappy with me for no particularly good reason. You guys are what? The pacifist, economic-y lads? What do you want exactly? They want peace. They want non-violence. They want traditional prosperity. Well, unfortunately, you're not going to get much of that. 
Ah, but let's see if I can actually fix my problems with the factions at this point. Because I think I'm allowed at this point to change my policies. Yes, indeed I am. So, uh, resettlement. I'm going to prohibit that. Yep, there we go. That's now been prohibited. And native interference is going to be passive study only. There we go. Right, so they've remembered that they actually like me because I gave them exactly what they cocking wanted all along. Right, well that's good. Influence is now flooding in nice and fast. And also, hang on. Wait, what? The... Who's the yellow fleet there? Oh. Right. Somebody just hired that fleet. The question is, where's it flipping going? Entering the orbit of... Wait, what? Why is that entering the orbit of Mosslands? Because that's actually... um, That's a system I'm currently occupying. Mosslands is... Wait, what? what's happening? That's... This is concerning. This is very concerning as to why you're... Okay, um, for Fossons, I've changed my mind. I'd like you to actually, like, be ready to... Right, okay. Well, I'm glad we just, by sheer coincidence, spotted that ludicrously early. Uh, so, you're going in one direction. Yeah, that fleet of 10,000 has decided it wants to go to Mosslands. But why? Who's... Well, someone's presumably paid them. Um, okay. So, what am I looking at here? Four cruisers, 14 destroyers, 24. Relatively low tier stuff. Right. I'd say redeploy all fleets, except that's kind of annoyingly going to leave these guys exposed. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Um, upgrade this. I can't upgrade this because it's occupied. It doesn't belong to me yet. Right. Um, I can't upgrade any of this. That is 1,100. Okay, what I can do, however, is throw down some defences around it. So, throw down some defences. We should be able to get two platforms built up. At that point... Oh, bloody hell. Well, this is just interesting. Right, the general security fleet can report to Medak. Whatever these guys are doing, we should be able to fight them off. Um, split this fleet in two. So, the Cabbage Liberators can... Classes 2 stays here. The cabinet liberated with the main general also reports to Medak. Alright, everyone just report in that direction. A small force remaining here of 2,000 odd should hopefully be enough. If you guys just basically, yeah, just draw up here around this station. Yeah, just move here. Has this actually got itself? No, that's, that's debris. Has this place got itself anything? Well, it, apparently it has itself a shipyard, so... Are you guys allowed to heal up here? Hang on, just just enter the orbit. Let's see if that actually makes you guys actually heal. Yeah, they're being repaired. Good. Okay, that's that's all fine. Now, these guys might respond, but hopefully, yeah, this force of 2,600 odd, that'll be, that'll be enough. Also, why? I don't know why you're not actually, like, you know, responding to a fleet or whatever. Maybe just get on your way. Okay. What's left up here? Um, is anything left up here? That is 1,400. There's 3,000 strength here. Okay. You also head down south. Everyone reports to Medak. Whatever the bloody hell is going on right now, I want us to be ready for it with everything we've got because someone has paid these guys to attack me. And it's probably the cocking Athari. Ah, here's something I could do with. Ah, insular campaigns. Yeah, that one's important. Claim influence down on war exhaustion gain minus 10%. Because wars are going to get bigger and bigger from this point. We need to be able to stick in the wars longer. Now, those guys have got to 100%, but the Fafossans are still raring to go for the time being. They've got more they think they want to do, so... And yeah, the Fafossans, you're not moving to deal with... No, they're heading... System survey if anything, they're heading even further north. 1,400 can't break the whole fax defense outpost, so that's fine. As for the Khan, he's... Yeah... Interestingly expanding directly into this territory. <laughs> These guys have invaded and I think they're doing... Well, they're doing okay. They've occupied a few systems, but... To be perfectly honest, I can't help but notice that uh, you're basically trying to take territory that's about to be overrun by Great Khan. So, good luck with that. Good plan, possibly. You know, we still haven't found the bloody xenophobe fallen empire. I honestly don't know where the bloody hell they are at this point. Like, maybe squeezed in... 
here or like back here somewhere or something? I've still no bloody clue. Okay, I've just thrown all my money at the reinforce button. Here's the raiding fleet. It's on its way in. Yeah, hyperdrive 2, basic combat computers, level 3 weaponry, nothing too major. My, has my other fleet arrived yet? No, my other fleet is going to be late to this battle. It's still one, two, three jumps or so out. And these guys are only two jumps away. Okay. Prepare yourselves. So we actually thrown down as many flipping things as we can. Yeah, that'll be it. Four defense platforms is going to have to do. And then we've also got... You, I don't know why you're not just... System survey complete. You two just, just merge together. Because why not? And then we've got ourselves about 13,000 strength on top. Here comes more piling in as well, yeah, because we're training ships as fast as we can at Medag and also at the Singularity Station. They're... Where did they just go? Ah, they've entered the nebula. We've lost sight of them because they're in the nebula, but they're coming. That means they're only one jump... Wait, what? Hang on. There's... Who are you and what are you... No, 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 it's fine. Okay, no, that's the rhino turtles and they're inside their own space. They're allowed to do that. It belongs to them. And yeah, real shame, one of my admirals has actually hit Arrested Development at only level 3. So, uh, yeah, shame that, real flipping shame. Right, you guys are fully healed up, right? Yeah, if you're fully healed up, pull slightly back from the station. We know where they're going to be arriving, they're going to be arriving from Rantor. I want the station to... Okay, that's that's absolutely fine. I, I would absolutely flipping... Ooh. Would it like 500 minerals or 50 influence? Well, there we go. Marvellous. Just got some influence there. Uh, back off ever so slightly. They're going to be arriving momentarily. The game should flag it when it happens, however. Because that will be... Well, technically, it's... They're not actually in red. They're in yellow right now. So, I'm just slightly confused. Yeah, here we go. Now, we've also got... Wait, what? Okay, we've also just met a new type of alien. What type of... Oh, it's mining drones. Bloody finally. Good. That's very important. Because that gives you the mining optimization uh, edict thing. Which is very, very powerful and worth doing. So, get on with that. Lovely. I just had a thought. What if these guys aren't here for me? I may be occupying Moss Lands, but technically I don't own it. What if the Athari didn't pay for this fleet? What if, say... The Rhino Turtles paid it to go and attack Athari space. That's possible too. Or possibly we'll declare war on them the flipping moment they get close to Moss Lands. Because I don't know what the hell you're bloody doing right now. You're entering the orbit of, yep, that's absolutely lovely. Uh, no, don't take them apart. Establish listening post. Diddly diddly d. Here we go. So you guys are, yep, yeah, it's war. Yeah, we're at war with them now. So this is, this is now war. So that's good. Right, so everyone just basically go and murder them. I think we should win this one. Um, yeah, with, with the help of the defense platforms and with all of these fleets floating around, I think we should actually do a pretty good job here. Some of them are definitely being destroyed. I've got the tech advantage, most certainly. We're going to lose some ships here. Albeit some of my ships, of course, as is traditional, will just warp out and will be back later. Right. So those guys got taken the hell apart, which is very, very good indeed. And presumably they respawn over here or something. I don't know. So that was odd. Uh, and yeah, one of these forces has been fairly badly, but not too badly damaged. Okay, so they basically declared war the moment they actually started bombarding a world I technically temporarily own. Gotcha. Now, more interestingly, what technology do they possess? Regenerative hull tissue. Do I have that already? I might already have that. So, with those guys having elected to warp out, the question is, are they going to just show up again in five minutes' time? Possible. Hopefully not, though. But yeah, this is what the uh, the new... Well, they're not really... Okay, these guys are going to be the Space Mongols. And this guy is going to be the Khan or Khan. Just so I can differentiate between them. But this is just what the Space Mongols have. They had just a little bit of 
interesting variety to things. Because they just occasionally show up, pass through neutral space, and then murder a particular thing they've been paid to go and murder. Interestingly, the Fafossons appear to be sort of losing interest in their war. Which is... Ooh, there we are. We're getting some interesting stuff there. Yeah, while they are trying to bring down this particular planet, very slowly indeed. In fact, actually, it's run of armies. Just... You just need to send an army in. Like any army. Where are your transport fleets? They're just... Right. So, they've got a little bit on the confused side. <laughs> Shame. Not really much I can do about that, to be honest. Oh, well. Now, either those guys have just given up, or they're taking their time to regenerate. And also, ooh, the Roma trait. Very, very nice indeed. People are just picking up traits there. But, I'm not seeing anything that's looking like it's damaged or otherwise might be planning to come back i think we're okay ah now this is very very interesting indeed so uh yeah the bird people and their allies are presumably still technically at war with the tebezoid ravagers yes indeed they are right there but they've lost control of the wormhole so therefore well they seem to have also lost all their systems possibly they just basically tried to head for home and they're going the slow route? I have absolutely no idea. Also, I think this is the same group of pirates Research that has basically complete. been harassing these guys for flipping decades at this point and they don't have enough of a fleet to stop it because this is not a good shape for an empire if you want to avoid pirates. Ah, interstellar campaigns. Very, very good indeed. Uh, habitability modification, defense army damage, terrestrial sculpting. Okay, so terraforming if I wanted to go down that route. Go on then, that's fun. If I happen to have actually just kind of luckily drawn some of the relevant important resources of that in my empire, might be worth taking a couple of planets and converting them to something else. Though to be honest, like, because I'm a multi-species empire, there's not really much point. Like, I still find terraforming a bit pointless. Like, occasionally it's fun if you're sitting on, like, a giant stockpile just to, like, you know convert something into, say, a Gaia world, just because you're flipping can, so why not, eh? But for the most part, it's so much easier just to basically bring other species into your empire than it is to bother spending time on terraforming. They're fighting. Stop fighting! Are they, Miss V.I.? Ooh! War declaration. Right. So, you guys have- wait, what? The- okay! The Infinite Pond has had a bit of a schism! As it turns out, the High Kingdom of Darkburg, who was xenophile and militarist, marvellous, taking on, well not actually taking on, but, uh, yeah, here we are, versus xenophile, egalitarian, fine, so the materialists basically broke away and took the capital Duckburg with them. Wow, alright then. Ah, but it was actually the other way round. Actually, the murder bot chose to declare war on the Duck. Now, I can see why they might want to do that. The ducks probably do look a bit vulnerable, but your fleet is... You do not have a great fleet. How's their fleet? Ah, their fleet's apparently pathetic, probably because they've just actually had a small civil war of some description. Still, that's actually going to wake up the starfish, which is... Ooh. Salvage preserved. Okay. You see, the thing is, this could be a bit of an opportunity for me... See, I've been kind of blocked in by the starfish, but these guys, these guys I could just basically walk over and, oh, there's some research. Oh, advanced shields, nice. <gasps> Gateway travel. Right, so, now this is exciting. Oh, but, oh, no, no, that's not fair, giving me plasma cannons at the same way as gateway travel. <laughs> gateway travel. Yeah, gateway travel. That was the right decision to make, damn it. Because there's a gateway right there. Alright, all this territory is just up for grabs and there's some good systems. Uh, now, tradition. If I start diplomacy, that will significantly cheer up one of my factions. But I feel like I've probably got enough influence going on with those bastards right now. Yeah, here we are. If I actually adopt diplomacy, that's my biggest faction. It's worth plus one right now. But honestly... If I take it, it's only going to be worth like a handful. Okay. Leave it. Instead, probably discovery. Purely because research alternatives into leader experience gain 
into faith and science. Because that's... That's a pretty big one right there. That's a big chunk of unity to be got. Except that's just... That is a lot of... Okay, fine. I'll adopt diplomacy. And you better give me something for that, you bastards. You flipping... Right, so that actually caps out at one, does it? Okay. Well, at least at the bare minimum, I get diplomacy influence costs reduced by 50% and trust growth up by 33%. That's not a bad thing to have when I might have to start making friends in a hurry down the line, depending on how the great Khan gets on, because he's uh, starting to get a bit bigger. Starting to get a bit on the big side. But, okay, so, 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 so how long is it going to be to the gateways done? Quite a long time, like over 10 cocking years. But for some reason, the Raxor are determined not to expand to this space. When they do, that's nothing. That's okay. That's, there was a nice planet. That's a nice one right there. Like, all of this round here. Yeah, all of this round here. That's good stuff. But I think this was, that's nice too. Yeah, and how about this one? Oh yeah, oh that's Prophet's Retreat. Don't touch that. Actually, I wonder if I could declare their holy world my holy world too. I wonder if that would work. It might work, you know. Oh, it would be lovely if we could have that though. Yeah. So I'm thinking my empire is going to start spreading out. Wait, hang on. John, you remember how we were just talking about the Great Khans? The massive, massive Great Khan army that's clearly expanding in that direct. Okay, we'll have to revisit whether that's a good idea or not. We'll revisit that. Uh, but what are you guys doing, by the way? I think we've actually found that no, they're warping the hell out. Don't blame them. So this fleet of... Oh, dear. Oh, flipping dear. I assume that is the combined fleet. Yeah. So they've got a combined fleet strength of maybe six, seven thousand. So they don't stand a chance against the great cards. They're just going to be slaughtered. So nothing that's going to happen there. But alternative plan. Assuming there's no sign of the raiders, which I don't think there is... Okay. Classes 2 simply hangs out here. What if... Oh, actually, you know what? The Cabbage Liberators could... Actually, the Cabbage Liberators could... Oh. See, I've got a plan. You see, I've been blocked by the starfish away from this side of the galaxy. And there's a few okay planets down there. That's tidal locked, however. But atmospheric hallucinogen is pretty good for the most part. What I'm thinking is... Because you just basically get territory by grabbing it in a war of containment, and these guys have just started a big, big war that's going to keep them busy. Speaking of which, I should probably actually get an active censoring going on with you. Right, there we go. So I've just thrown a hundred in their direction. That is the machine fleet there. Where's your fleet? Your fleet is... Yeah, there we are. Infinite Pond. Unfortunately, ah. System it's tiny. Complete. So the machine fleets are maybe 6,000 odd strong in total. So I could basically head over there right now with, hello, what exactly do you want exactly? Is it time for... Yep, yeah, okay, fine. It's time to renew. A thousand energy every time for that. In fact, actually, hang on. Now I'm actually swimming energy. There's probably a bunch of stuff I can do that's actually quite good in terms of communication and the various enclaves. In fact, I know there is because I specifically set up... Hang on, just... Oh, there's too much stuff happening. Right, okay. You, over here, Starbase, I need... Here we are. Curator Think Tank. So I need a diplomatic agreement with the local curator enclave. Right, okay. Let's have a chat to you. We'd like to establish a mutual think tank. They should agree because they love me. Such a facility would benefit the advancement of galactic science. Lovely. Now, these guys, yes, I would like you to aid us in our research. So that's 4,000 credits is a lot, but go for it. Let's get the research speed up here. And you guys building curator think tank worth five, five and five. Like, that's nice. That's a nice building to have. Other than that, continue building the fleet by just building Anchorage here. And then exactly the same thing at the Curator Think Tank there. You can also do the same thing if you happen to have the, um, the arty patronage guys in your empire. That is worth, yeah, 18 unity. Lovely thing to have. So, Curator Think Tank there. And once again, Anchorage and Anchorage, because I physically can't have a trading hub because there's no plant in this system. So, just some Anchorages there. Lovely. So that'll be a little bit of extra fleet capacity. Pretty happy with that. Right. So that's done. Next up, back over to... Yeah, the artists. 
Now, how much does the festival actually cost? 500, 500, and 100 influence. That's actually cheap. Now, what does that actually do? That adds for the next five years, happiness plus 15%, growth, pop speed plus 10%. That's a bit underwhelming, really, because my happiness and pop growth speed are already pretty damn high. So, no deal on that, but back to you, because I think there is one thing I do want. Yeah, the Ministry of Culture. Ouch, 5,000. That is more expensive than I remembered. That's okay. Leave that alone for the time being. We'll very soon be up to that anyway. But yes, indeed, I've got myself a plan here, which is this space down here. What if I were to attack that with one of my primary fleets? Also, are you guys all... You guys should, by the way, actually all be, like, linked together. Could you guys all, like, just meet... Yeah, just go to Krant, join up with them. You're there and you're there as well. Fine, we probably need to just train up some new armies, to be honest. Yeah, there we are. Three more armies of Jartajans. They are very, very good warriors. Now, stop getting distracted for just one bloody second here. Plan. I would like to take a whole bunch of territory off the robots. Because all this territory around here is... Well, actually, there's a gateway as well. There's a very convenient gateway. So I will have a direct link between the two if I just take this territory. And I can just help myself. And I've got a plan as well. Which is, I think, if I would just... Actually, you know what? Let's just move the fleet into position here. I'd say general security fleet should probably just start moving on its way. That can basically just head down here and just head down towards... Frontline. Shouldn't take them too long to get there. The fleet's already at full capacity or, well, not quite, but it'll do. It'll flipping do. Cabbage Liberators, you guys, I was about to say reinforce, I've got 136 minerals. I've just actually dropped a whole bunch of money on upgrades for various planets, which is why. Uh, but, oh, look at this. I love this world. This world makes so much cocking energy. It's lovely. And, yeah, the Fafossans are not quite done yet. They are just determined to keep fighting this bloody war forever. Ah, the actual stupid bird robots have picked this moment to start insulting me. Well, 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 well. I guess as you're actually asking for it, I suppose I'll be happy to flipping oblige. Because of course, as we're now in 2.0.2, .2, I can declare war on these guys even though I don't have a border with them. So isn't that just flipping lovely? Also, I need to be careful, when this war up north actually ends, I'm going to have left in my empire, these guys over here, this planet, this planet, and I think these two planets. So, there's going to be a lot of unhappy planets entering the empire simultaneously, and that's going to knacker my flipping energy and minerals. In fact, I should start planning for that now and start, yeah, moving a couple of systems into sectors in preparation. So... First things first, let's actually bring, yeah, the white heat of technology into the actual empire over here. So you over here and you over here. Lovely. So you guys can all be part of the same thing. Before we move Krant over, however, yeah, there's actually a third planet inside this area. So we may as well get something down on that. Mostly it's energy, including some Batharian. Fine. So we just need someone who's good in the cold and also, ideally, is industrious. And as it turns out, the terrifying, weird, fungus, horror face creatures are actually perfect for that exact job. I'm also going to swap out the shipyard at Lux itself for a trading hub. I don't feel like we need a shipyard at our home world anymore. I'm pretty happy with just having another trading hub there for yet more power. So at this point, they're creating... Should be quite a bloody lot, actually. Wait, did I ever take the, the tech that made it better? I can't remember if I did or not. It's still saying 5.25, so I assume not. Oh, even worse news for the dicks. Aside from just being completely swallowed up by the dwarves, they've had a breakaway happen within their own empire. So now I think their former capital has been, yeah, taken over by a brand new group of peaceful xenophile spiritualists. That is bloody optimistic living next door to the dwarves, I will say. And we've got another ancient Voltorm, or whatever they're called, thing showing up there. So, hang on. Where exactly is this? It's a mining system. Ah, mining system right on the edge of the universe. Fine, well, that's okay. I'll send a science vessel up there at some point. Also, we really need to watch the Raxar. Because right now, their fleet is about the same size as ours. Maybe not quite, but they've got a good 13,000 strength. 
We need to be careful of them, or we need to just build more flipping ships. How's the war going, by the way, against the pond? Because it looks to me like... Oh, yeah. It looks to me like the pond might be in a bit of trouble here. It looks like their allies haven't really bothered showing up to help. At all, actually. Rivalry ended. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the killbots seem to actually be doing a pretty good job at this point. So, probably best we do something about them. Like, say, for example, taking away a huge amount of the territory that they control that happens to be where they're getting a large part of their money from, Research. and also securing a gateway, and also securing a triple planet system, because triple planet systems are always flipping fun. Yep, a fleet 3,000 strong is just bombarding a duck world right now. They've got quite a lot of strength here, however. It's going to take quite a long time for them to actually take that planet, but... They are running out of... everything. I really hope their federation actually moves in to assist them, because, you know, they're in a federation. You'd think they kind of, you know, were supposed to help. That's kind of their job. But then I guess, technically, you guys are busy on the other side of the galaxy. Actually, that's possibly why. Maybe their fleets are trapped over here somewhere. That might be why they're not helping. Possibly their fleets have got trapped way over bloody here. So I would say it's probably time for us to figure out a way to get involved in the Killbots business next time, ladies and gentlemen. Together with wrapping up the next stage of the war with the policy of Hullfax, or at least waiting for the Fafossons to finally get tired of just wailing on these poor bastards, and also figuring out what we're going to do with the Athari and how we're going to deal with all these bloody systems when they actually enter our territory. Because that's going to be a challenge to manage, I would say. So, all of that coming up very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. And this has been Stellaris Apocalypse. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This here, this is the face of death, okay? This is what my sudden death looks like. Do not engage before we arrive. Do not engage. What are you doing? I specifically said don't. Oh, no. No, John. <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans touched me. <laughs>